Well, this morning we are on the go with Joe, and he's learning how you can wine and dine and help some very special causes at the same time. Joe is in Northeast Portland to tell us about a series of dinners that will pair winemakers with some top local chefs. Hi, Joe. Hey, good morning, guys. I'm with one of those chefs right now. This is George Caden, chef and owner here at the Grand Army Tavern in Northeast Portland. They're going to be hosting one of several winemaker dinners uh, next week to help out a number of uh, special causes. Uh, we'll talk about that in just a second. But first of all, George, this is one of the dishes that will be part of yeah. the dinner. What mm -hmm. are you making right now? We saw you popping these raviolis into yeah. the uh, boiling water earlier. What are, we, uh, what are we making right here? So this is a potato ravioli. Okay. Um, the filling is just potato, a little grana padano, similar to Parmesan, uh, salt, pepper, and nutmeg. Mm -hmm. um, and then the sauce is a little bit of broth made with Parmesan rind, uh, fennel, shallot. Um, and we're just going to finish that with a little bit of butter. Oh my goodness. And, and so, just let all that emulsify there. And tell me a little bit about your restaurant. Sure. You, it's you and your wife. You came here from New York. Grand yeah. Army, is, that's a location in Brooklyn. Is where yeah, you get the Grand name Army from. Plaza, yep. And so tell me a little bit about kind of the concept here your notes. Sure. Um, my wife ran uh, cocktail bars in New York and I was in the fine dining restaurant world and when we originally started talking about opening a business together we wanted to do something that kind of married those two ideas. Yep. I, I love it and it's one of those spots where you can get a great cocktail. Great food. So we've got the butter in there with the mm -hmm. ravioli. Yep. What, what else can we kind of like uh, finish nice that off with? So I, I really like to keep this pasta as simple as possible. This is just a little bit of lemon juice. Um, we can grate a little bit of a uh, grana padano in there. Okay. Ooh, my. Wait, wait, what is that? This is grana padano. It's similar to Parmigiano Reggiano. Grana padano. Yeah, if you can find it. It's, it sounds uh, like you're making it up. Grana I'm not padano. making it up. Okay. All right, all right. And now, then just a little bit of chive. Now, this is all going to be paired with, the, the great thing about these dinners is each restaurant is paired with a different winemaker. So who yeah. are you uh, going to be, I guess, we're, collaborating we're with We're with Flanor week? Wines. Flanor Wines, okay. Yeah. Very good. And so basically, what is it? You give them the uh, you give them the menu, and they say, "Okay, we'll find the wines that will go great with that." For sure, it's a little bit more collaborative than that, where yeah. it's like I, I came up with a menu, and then you know they decide what wines are showing well, and you know what uh, you know what we think would pair. So, you know, maybe this pasta, maybe he's like, "Oh, I don't want a Chardonnay." Maybe we'll do a red with this, and so maybe I'll fortify this with a little bit of mushroom, or oh I'll change gosh. the dish just a little bit. Folks, if you could smell, I mean, if this tastes half as good as this thing smells, <laughs> my goodness. And this is just one of the courses. Yep. So, uh, folks, these winemaker dinners, they're going to take place next week. Uh, there, there are several of them, a number of different restaurants. And uh, tickets are available for a number of them still. Uh, not just uh, Grand Army Cabin, but Tusk, Kachka, a number of local restaurants, all partnering with different wineries. And they're all helping five local charities. New Avenue for Youth, Metropolitan Family Service, YWCA of Clark County, Friends of the Children, and the Unity Center for Behavioral Health. And oh my goodness, Kim and Shona, will you look at that? Now that is what I call a ravioli. Well, wow. I'm looking, goodness. but I want to be tasting. Yeah. This is cruel. <laughs> we, we, we will be tasting that. We're going to be tasting that and some wine, maybe some wine. Maybe and a little bit. And more uh, from <laughs> Grand Arby Tavern as you get ready for these very tasty dinners coming up in just a bit. Oh my goodness, back here in the studio. Oh my gosh, I can almost smell it from here. It looks delicious. All right, yeah. Joe, thank you. I don't need that kind of temptation.